Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Ricky Top 365. My name is Rick, and this is your channel, guys. So today, I'm gonna talk to you guys who are getting or about to get an Article 15 for misconduct, guys. Okay. Now, uh, Article 15s are uh, it's a punishment. It's it's a non it's a non judicial punishment, or it's a judicial punishment. That's a boring question for you. So uh, go ahead, tell me on the comment below if it's a judicial or a non-judicial punishment under the UCMJ. Article 15, okay? Uh, so Article 15 are given out by the commander most, uh, in most cases, you know? Uh, and the commander is supposed to, with that tool, uh, strength the spirit, the spirit of the court and, and address some minor uh, disciplinary uh, 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 misconduct offenses. Like uh, the people got an to a fight, somebody's not showing up for work when it's supposed to. Uh, somebody got got caught stealing at the PX, you know, something minor. Uh, somebody keeps getting tickets for speeding on post. Uh, somebody not following. Uh, um, some following not following any any any. any how can I say this? Lawful, lawful orders, okay? Given by an officer or a non commissioned officer, okay? This is discipline shit, you know? Discipline shit. And uh, 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 let me tell you something, guys. I never I never got an article 15. I was about to. But then, I, uh, I challenge it. Okay, and I challenge it, and I'm gonna tell you why. When I was stationed in North Carolina, I was uh, recommended for Article 15 for failure to failure to obey some some commander some commander uh, policy. It was very stupid, very vague. Uh, it was with uh, with the uh, within the uh, distance that you can travel. On a, on, a, on a four day weekend uh, and they, they recommended me to the uh, you know for another kind of thing you know so so I did a couple of things you know how how I got called how I got called or how my NCO was aware that I was outside the, the 350 mile radius that the commander had put okay it's because he received uh, a message of me being outside the, the radius okay so uh one of the things that i did one of the things that i did is uh, uh i told the uh i told the guy uh because that this just happened uh on, on a friday uh, i told the guy uh you know monday that's that's what that's what you know they start calling me like hey we changed the duty roster when i left the the, the uh the weekend for the, the unit for the weekend, for the fourth day weekend, uh, as far as uh, far as my knowledge, and then I'm telling you the truth, as uh, far as my knowledge, I did not have duty on that weekend. The, the, the duty roster wasn't published. So they changed the duty roster after they released the unit, you know? And I was like, sure, okay, you know? I'm, I wasn't gonna answer no phone. I am telling you, you call me from work, no, sorry, you, you better figure it out, platoon sergeant. You know, you know your lack, your lack of leadership, a uh, lack of organization doesn't, uh, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't uh, define my my life. So, so what I did is that uh, what I did is uh, I didn't answer the phone. You know, uh, I, I remember that I used, I saw the messages, and because I have an iPhone, I was able to read the message. They were trying to get me to work on Saturday morning, and I'm like, "Are you crazy, man? You know, I, I already left for the for the for the day. I'm already en route to this other location." Uh, and then they figured they figured it out through voice word word of mouth that I was in this location that also was outside the radius, you know. And I was like, "Okay, you know, I never say nothing to them. This is this is the key, guys." This is the key, cause some of you guys dumb motherfuckers. I'm, I'm saying, 
some of you guys just be like, yo, man, fuck me, you know, I'm so stupid. But anyway, uh, most of you guys are young and the people that you're dealing with are growing as men, you know? Uh, and they will peer pressure you, they will, they will, they will, they will, they will break you down, you know? They will interrogate you. Like you are fucking a uh, 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 prisoner of war. Anyway, so I say fuck with that. I say fuck with that, you know? Your lack of leadership on organization doesn't define my fucking life. So, so I got called on Monday to the uh, to the platoon office and the platoon sergeant was like, I'll call you so many times. Uh, you never answer your phone. And I was like, and? And they were like, what do you mean with and? I'm like, it was a four day weekend. I wasn't doing nothing wrong, and they, and they say, uh, oh, but uh, I did. Uh, I saw your. Uh, I sent you so many voicemails. Voicemails. Uh, why you didn't reply? And I was like, I never received your voicemails. Uh, and they were like, yeah, let me see your phone. And I was like, actually, my phone is uh, private property. You know, if it was a, if it was a government, a government uh, uh, phone, then you need to get. Uh, uh, then you need to get. Uh, an order, not just from your com- from your command from your commander, uh, saying that hey, you are to turn in your phone for uh, this, this, and that. There's there's a whole protocol. But on your personal phone, I was like, uh, no, that's my personal. Uh, that's my personal phone. And they were like, uh, you want to go that way? And I'm like, yeah, I'm telling you, I'm, uh, this this is the way I'm going. This is the way. I was like the Mandalorian, like like the Mandalorian. This is the way. You're not gonna, you're not gonna check my phone. You know, this is this is a no, no. That's a, that's that's invasion of privacy. Who you think you are? You know. They're like, well, we send you so many messages. You're supposed to check your phone, and then uh, and I was like, what are you talking about? That I need to check my phone? What kind of nonsense is is this? My my private phone. So the commander put a memorandum saying that soldier must return phone calls from the supervisor within 24 hours but that 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 order that he signed or she signed didn't specify if you were because if you were gonna be go uh if you are gonna be called on your home phone or your cell phone or your or a government issue phone so I challenge that order. I challenge it with the platoon. So I challenge it with the platoon sergeant. I challenge it with the commander. I challenge it with the battalion commander. I challenge it with the brigade commander. I challenge it with the division. I challenge it with the post commander. I went to IJ and I did a congressional on that issue, asking, asking my congressman at that at the moment why a commander of the United States Army needs to have access to my privately owned cell phone. Why do I need to return phone calls uh, or messages from a to a government entity from a from a uh, from a known government device? You know it was it was big you know I got I got advice um, by a by an attorney that I pay out of my own pocket. And we put this uh, email, we put this uh, this uh, request, you know, it was a big deal, okay? So uh, they tried to give me the, uh, the article 15, then you start the process, they send you to Jack. When I went to Jack, I told Jack, Jack, I really, I have nothing to uh, to speak to you because uh, I already saw, I already saw, uh, seek, I'm, I'm already seeking uh, private counsel. And they're like, no, you need to come here. You need to explain everything to me. And I was like, actually, I don't. Uh, let me tell you why why, uh, why I say this, guys. And then I, I got to tell you the truth. Uh, some of you guys, some of you guys uh, think that Jack is there to help you out. And in reality, Jack is not there to help you out. That Jack, uh, Jack is, 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 is one of those things. They're there to make sure that everything matches. They're there to make sure that the paperwork that your commander is trying to push in you is correct. So if, if in most cases, I'm not saying all cases, but in, in some cases, allegedly, allegedly, okay? Um, and again, I'm not an attorney, so I'm not giving you uh, legal advice. Remember that, I'm just speaking about my own private 
uh, 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 an own uh, life experience. Okay. No, 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 none of what I'm saying is supposed to be treated as counsel. So, so they're there to make sure that the paperwork is correct. So the uh, Jack guys goes over there and then tells the commander, you know, see the pay, pay, paperwork and, he, and you're missing four counts of the statement. You know, first of all, you know, those guys out there are, are to make sure that the commander comes back to you and tells you, hey, hey, buddy, you need to get canceled four more times before we can pass this. Oh, you need three more canceling. Or you need based on the based on the uh, uh based on the installation, based on the company, based on the policy. Okay. The one thing I'm gonna tell you guys, to all you guys, is if you receive a, a canceling today, which is Monday, November the 30th of 2020, when they're talking about when they're talking about uh, uh the, the, what did happen. You know, if you're reading on the uh, on the on, on the uh, on the description of the canceling or the body, and they're telling you, "Hey, sold your such and such, we're canceling you today for actions that you committed uh, 15 days ago." Rather, you say, "Ah, uh, one second. Uh, uh, what is the proof for this?" Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, you know, people are gonna start like, "Ah, uh, you know, nothing, guys." Uh, and this is this is this is this is out of my own experience. Anything that they holding over your head over a two day period or forty eight hours, that's holding it over your head. Uh, don't sign it. Don't don't sign nothing that is backdated. Don't sign nothing that that is trying to. Uh, how can I say this? without, you know, because, you know, don't say nothing that is trying to uh, sound like you're admitting guilt. Make sure that, make sure that plan of actions are met. And if, and if they don't meet the plan of action, make sure you tell them that oh, you did not meet the plan of action. What are you talking about? We're not doing this. I'm not going to sign this, you know? Because, guys, at the end of the day, Jack is not there to help you. Okay, guys, I want you guys to understand this right here, guys. The uh, the, the system is not in your favor. If they're trying to give you some punishment, some Article 15, it's because you did something wrong. And 99% uh, 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 of the time, they will get away with that, okay? But it's up to you to demand transparency. It's up to you to demand that the uh, that that the course that the system is taken seriously not that they just put a couple counselings together and before you know it you have you have to do extra duty for 45 days or 30 days or 15 days or whatever or demote you or take money out of your pay you know um but if you're committed the crime you must pay the consequences every action has a reaction guys okay uh and i gotta give you some advice right now there's so many people who there's so many people who committed minor offenses like this and got article 15 who are now command sergeant majors uh lieutenant colonel football colonels i mean i'm telling you uh what i'm trying to tell you guys is there's no room in the military for sexual assault or sexual harassment there's no room in the military for drugs if you get caught one one of those you should be you should be i'm not joking you should be uh, uh, getting, uh, you should be taken out of the military, okay? Uh, and let me specify with, with the sexual assault and sexual harassment. Uh, uh, I'm talking about that you, there's no doubt that you committed it, okay? Um, uh, use of drugs, there's no doubt that you willingly committed that, that you know, that you use the drugs. Not because, you know, you got, you got kidnapped in Germany and somebody uh, uh, hit you with a, something that you have no kidneys but you can possibly for something you know what i mean uh alcohol be wise there there's, there should be no room in my in my in my in my own um in my in my own eyes there, there should not be room for people who drive it dr drink and drive you should not be in the military you should be uh you should be uh taking care of yourself you should be uh going to aas you should be going to uh something like that guys 
the military is a serious profession okay and i know i joke and i say this and i say that and try, i try to get you to laugh with me but guys at the end of the day if you commit the crime you should pay the price but now going back to where i was because I, need, I needed to say that i needed to say that uh, i want to tell you guys that many commanders many chain of commands many uh, uh many ncos they don't do their job and if they don't do their job hell they're not giving me no article 15. if they're not doing their job the way they're supposed to why are they gonna hold my feet to the ground to do the fire you know to do my job like you know what i mean what i'm saying to you guys right here is um I, i'm gonna finish with this guys because I, I want i want i want you to understand this um if you are in trouble, if you are in trouble, you are in trouble. Uh, when you go to the, to the red carpet and you're going to see your battalion commander or your company commander, let me tell you something. Uh, when you have to, you know, when you have to go see your commander, whatever the case may be, before you get there, they're talking about you. And they're not talking about you, about good things and what you want. Such a great soldier, they're just going to be like talking about whatever. And then you're gonna go there and you're gonna give your speech and you're gonna say something. I, 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 will, I, will, I will always say to you, when you go to an Article 15 hearing, you need to make sure that you bring at least two to three people that are gonna speak on your, on your, uh, on your behalf of why you should have the, the punishment that you, that you should have. Why you should be you know, taken into consideration. X, Y, and Z. I'm just saying to you guys, okay? Please. That's always beneficial. The other thing is, if you have any questions, because this is so big, and I just started with this uh, Article 15 uh, talks. We are going to make more videos about this. Like the video, share the video, comment on the video, share with everybody, let your buddies know, hey, we're going we're gonna to have a revolution right here, you know, because uh, people are not doing what they're supposed to do. Okay? C commanders are not doing, chain of commands are not doing what they're supposed to do. And we're gonna expose them here. So uh, let me know your story in the comment section below. Make sure that your name on your YouTube doesn't match your your freaking name on your real life, okay? Uh, and that's it, guys. That's it. First video on Article 15. We're gonna make a bunch more on those guys. So expect more videos. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Damn, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Uh, take care, guys. Have a good night. Uh, may the Lord be with you. You're going to need it.